Uh, it's been a long ride to get to senior day for you, and I know that you got one more home game left, but uh, what will senior day mean to you walking out there? Oh, it'll mean a lot. I mean, it's been four and a half years. I feel like I've been here for a generation, but yeah, I can't believe that we only have two more, two more days left, and Although I came in with five other guys and it's only me left, you know, it's still important. And, and I've been with a lot of these guys for almost four years now, some of them three full years. So it's going to be an important day for me, and hopefully I can go out on a win. It's kind of weird seeing your brother go through it without you last year. That's weird that you guys have been split up for this. Yeah, it was a little different. I mean, we've been close. You know, they say either twins, they're really close, or they hate each other growing up. And we are one of the ones that were obviously close. I've been living with him, rooming with him, playing with him. I've never played a soccer game without him, I don't think, unless it was an injury. He was always right there. So it's been a little different this year, but he, he's came to every game that he can. So It's a big opportunity on Sunday, too. Not just taking senior day into it. This is a big game. Oh, yeah. I use always a big game, and, and they're ranked good. I think they're on top of the Big Ten right now. So we're still 2-2, two and, two and, and teams have been beating each other up. So hopefully we can get a win this weekend and then and then look forward to the Michigan game. With no, I mean, you guys have had some good success against them recently. Against IU, there's no reason not to be confident. Yeah, since I've been here, I think we, we've won more than we've lost. I think it's like three wins, uh, a tie, and a loss or something like that. So, I mean, these guys, there's guys on the team that have beaten them before, and, and we're definitely not scared. We'll be ready to go. Yeah, sure. I think anytime you play one of your last couple games uh, on a field that you've been a part of for four or five years, I think it's certainly emotional and for the parents and, and everybody. But uh, I think we'll find a way to uh, put that aside and focus on uh, a very tough Indiana team. Yeah, they're rated top 10 in the country in the RPI, I just heard you say it. And with good reason too right yeah they're obviously very good they've got some very good attacking pieces they're well coached you know louis softner their goalie is uh is a senior i believe so they've got they're they're good they're good all around and there's not a lot of weaknesses but we'll see what we can do you've had some success against them recently so these guys will get up for this game and know that they can perform right well, yeah, I mean, like I said, we play a very tough schedule. So, I mean, we play UConn, Notre Dame, Indiana, Akron. So I think it's uh, another one of those top games. And I think uh, our guys, you know, we like we've talked about all year, we expect to win every game we're in. We expect to win on Sunday. We know it's going to be very difficult. Um, but if we put uh, the preparation and the focus and execute the game plan, uh, we feel like we should win. Can this also kind of send a message to the rest of the Big Ten before the tournament to look out for the green guys? Well, I think, you know, we're starting to, we're, you know, mathematically, we're not out of the, the title yet either. So we need some help from Ohio State against Penn State. But if that happens, uh, we're still right in the mix for that too. So uh, it's a huge game on Sunday and uh, our guys will be ready.